All right, welcome. We are back. Yes, now we're in the next part right here, and now things are getting very intense right here because now we're going to run into ve some very important plot development. Yeah, so yeah, and one of the hardest things to do, like if you're not if you're not using a guide to try to get the highest ranking, you have to know where, where to find these uh uh find the enemies uh, on these verse episodes so you get your highest ranking because there are some that you have to hunt down yourself. Like if you like if uh, if you miss one, it's gonna affect your overall ranking, and that could cause the difference between you getting a gold statue and a silver statue. All right, now we're in the Cascade Fairgrounds. All right, that's good. Everything's peaceful All right, for the moment, and we're not being attacked for some reason. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, I wonder who this could be. Nice. I was dope. Oh, fuck. What the hell you dodged that? I'm never going to reach Fimblevent at this rate. Well, at least it won't be a boring trip. Huh? You could see me. You're putting on quite a show, little magician. Oh, you like that, huh? Wait till you see the climax. Silly girl. You'll have to do better than that to earn a tip, my dear. Who the hell are you? I'm just an innocent little girl lost in Wonderland, suffering at the hands of the Queen's trumped up troops. Hit one, huh? Enough riddles. How can you see me? Because we're both in Purgatorio, you see. Purgatorio? So, are we heading to Fimbleventer on a shopping trip for Mummy, little one? Maybe. But she told me never to talk to strangers. Stay out of my way or I'll make sure you never get in it again. Scary. Off with their heads, eh? Damn it. They must have heard me. All right, well, after well, after seeing that scene, now we have another boss fight right here. So, obviously, all these angels are hunting that person down. Uh, so, obviously, now we got to do some combat. Or, that's fine. I don't mind it. Yeah, and this, is the, and this is the part of the game where things get very tricky because right now, uh, we do get upgrades in the shop, but we have to farm for halos, uh, which are basically, let's be honest, they're basically sonic rings at this point. I mean, who you're trying to full platinum games, we all know what they are. And this is the part of the game uh, where we are going to run into some aerial enemies, so it'll be useful to get some uh, some uh, abil some abilities that'll let us shoot them from a distance. So right now we just have to use our basically our default attacks right now. Yes, because the weapons we are are automatically equipped with is the uh, Love is Blue, which means we have different attacks, especially when we activate our uh, our Umbrent Climax, like right now we're showing off. So every different ability that you equip with your uh, with your uh, with your uh, self, you get different uh, added effects. All right, 
All right, so now we got our, our relic item right there, which we are going to need. All right, let's get some items first, get some free health, because why not? Love free health. All right, now we get these gold <laughs> angeletic hymns, or whatever they're called. These are basically mandatory if you want to get uh, the new uh, new weapons at Rodan's shop, and which we're going to show off right now. All right, so I'll join you back after we get the after we get the weapon. Well, now, looks like you found a good reason to visit. You know, I'm all about them angelic hymns, gold LPs. Angels in agony are pretty much my slow jams. I play that back home, and the demons will be lined up to get down. Lucky for me, I got a few jams of my own cooking that'll need a little demon kick to finish them off. That LP is just what the doctor ordered. Now hand it over, and I'll go get my swerve on. <sighs> this motherfucker did not want to listen to reason. But it's all good, cause neither did I put him to work. All right, now that we've been at the shop, now we get equipped with Raksha. And and this by far is going to be your best ability to use uh, until you get uh, another uh, very powerful weapon. But that's not until late in the game. The Ala, the, the Ala Rune, I believe it's called. It's basically a whip weapon. You don't get that till like late in the game. So right now, the Raksha is going to be your best weapon. Uh, trust me on this. At, le you know, at least when it comes to long range, temporary... So love is blue is still gonna get some love for now, but over uh, literally. But as you progress further, your main objective also is to find some of those LPs. That way you could you, that way you could get more uh, more items from uh, Rodan's shop. You have to find those LPs in order to get the item made to begin with. And the good thing is the item is free. However, you do have to pay full value if you want the item equipped on both your hands and your feet. So. You know, so like if you want to spend 30,000, you know, uh, halos to have the Rakasha equipped on both your hands and your feet, go ahead. But I wouldn't recommend it because Love is Blue still gets the job done on your feet or Rakasha does the best damage uh, when you have them equipped on your hands. So it's worth it's worth it in the long haul. All right. So now we. All right. So, yeah. So right here. Now we run Luke enemies. And spoiler alert, Bayonetta 2 has a lot of boss fights. You're probably going to wonder, like, doesn't that get kind of repetitive? Well, it does at times, but I don't mind it. You know, I don't mind it. It's, you know, it's 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 not as it's not as bad as repetitive as Sonic Unleashed dealing with, you know, so many enemies and boss fights. You know, at least here you have some kick-ass music. Like, it, it, like, sometimes it doesn't always play, you know, uh, Tomorrow is Mine. They always switch it up with a, with a boss theme as they should. And, you know, this game does have a lot of similarities to Sonic Unleashed, I'm not gonna lie. You know, just like Unleashed, the soundtrack is fucking kick-ass in this game. And I really love the combat right here. This this basically shows, like, imagine the Werehog having the Devil May Cry mechanic. And you're probably wondering, like, would a Devil May Cry mechanic work for the Werehog even though he's a little bit heavy? Well, yeah. I mean, it's still Sonic either way, he's still fast. You know, he... he you know, you know he can pull off, you know, fast combos. But, no, they opted for the God of War mechanic, which is sluggish, it's slow-paced at times, and I'm almost fucking dead! Alright, activate our climax right here. Yeah, and of course we get different climaxes too. Because we have our own allies. And of course, Madam Butterfly is our best, is our, uh, is our best ally. 
Always love that animation, the way that sword pierces through the uh, cathedral like that. So badass. Alright, get a gold medal. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, even in hard mode, when you take a lot of damage, you still get a good ranking. Or if you're playing this game on normal mode, that would have been normally a silver ranking. Maybe even bronze, if you took too much damage. But on hard mode, if you... It compensates, like, if your combo's super high, but even though you took a lot of damage, it still gives you a good ranking. Yeah, but overall, there's really no purpose in trying to get a high ranking. Alright, let's enter in here, because why not? Yeah, so, I am going to edit these out in later parts. Right now, I just want to show them off. Plus, I want to listen to the main battle theme, you know. I, I love this theme, this theme, you know, Tomorrow is Mine. So kick-ass. You know, and at the time of this recording, you know, we still haven't heard, you know, we still haven't seen another trailer from, for Bayonetta 3. You know, I was kind of disappointed, like, come on, Platinum Games, we want that game already. But I understand, you know, they want to take their time with the game that's good and all. Not only that, but Astro Chain, uh, another intellectual property uh, that they just released recently. Uh, I've heard good things about that game. Uh, they want to give that game its own, you know, screen time, I understand, because... It's a new intellectual property from Platinum Games, so they want to make sure that that game gets all the uh, all the attention because Bayonetta 3 would just outshine that game and then nobody would probably be interested well, amongst casuals. You know, and I've seen, you know, gameplay of Astro Chain. It's a fun game. It uses the same mechanic. It's kick-ass. You know, I am going to get it, but still, you know, Bayonetta 3, it's been a game that's been super hyped since we saw the uh, first uh, trailer back in December of 2017. So, yeah. Alright. And we're on red health right now, so basically if we get hit right here, we're basically dead. Alright. And right here, this is one of the cheapest attacks you get in the game, so make sure you dodge immediately. Like right here, you have to dodge immediately. And I got fucking hit. Thankfully I didn't die. But still, like, th that's one of the attacks where it, it cheap shots you, so it doesn't dodge for you automatically like a scripted event. No, you have to dodge that on your own. Yeah, so if I take one more hit, I'm basically fucked. Eh, but it doesn't matter. Eh, it doesn't matter. These enemies don't post not much of a threat, even though I got hit two times. It doesn't matter. But they don't, but their damage output isn't as high as everyone else's. Alright, I should do it right here. Alright, got a gold medal, even though I took a little bit of damage, it's fine. So, they're after you too, then. Have you been naughty? Keeping secrets from mummy? Nope. Nothing comes to mind, love. Sorry. But since this is your bloody mess, do you mind hurrying the fuck up and getting rid of this thing? Now, that's no way to talk to a lady. No wonder your guardian angels are trying to give you a good spanking. Whatever, love. You've already been following me, so let's make a deal. You save me, I'll show you around this joint. Heading to Fimbleventer, aren't we? That makes two of us. And it'll take two of us, won't it, love? You seem to have skipped school the day they taught basic negotiation skills. You're supposed to negotiate from a position of strength, little one. Not just be a one-trick pony. My power to... Ah. Oi! That works too, I suppose. I don't have time to give a shit about who you are or why you're going to the mountain. Take me there and make it quick. You stay with me, and I promise you'll end up in one piece. Got it? Wait! Stop! Before I show you the way, love, you gotta agree to a little condition. Ugh. Do we need to go over my lesson again? First, learn to talk to a lady. We don't react very well to being insulted, little one. Well then, I don't react to being called little one. The name's Loki. And what should I call you, love? I mean, man. 
Do I look like a man to you? Bayonetta or Ceresa? Take your pick. <laughs> Ceresa? You don't look like a Ceresa to me. Well then, Bayonetta it is. Let's move, little one. Hey! I just told you my name is... You'll earn your name when you become a man.